All right, let's talk about the Chicago Bears. Obviously, preseason is behind us, regular season right around the corner. And to that end, the Bears are looking to get off to a hot start, and they've made a sneaky good kind of under-the-radar move that should help them do just that. Exciting news out of Chicago. I'm Nick, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, so this Bears team, obviously a lot of buzz, a lot of energy, a lot of momentum, expecting a lot of big things of the Chicago Bears this season. But in order to do that, they need to get off to a hot start because it's a tough schedule down the stretch. And to that end, the Bears have recently made a really good addition that's kind of slid under the radar to address a potential weakness due to some injuries. Let's pull up this report, and then we'll talk about it more on the other side. This is courtesy of Sporting News. In a move related to Zach Pickens' groin injury, doubtful for the start of the regular season, Poles signed defensive lineman Sam Roberts on Wednesday, snagging him away from the New England Patriots, whom Roberts had been with during the preseason. News of the Bears signing Roberts was provided by ESPN's Adam Schefter. Former Patriots defensive lineman Sam Roberts is signing to the Bears practice squad with the intention of being called up for week one, per source, Schefter said. Roberts turned heads during the Patriots' final preseason game when he made eight tackles against the Washington Commanders. Roberts, a six-round pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, joined Chicago having played in 12 games for the Patriots with one start. Again, it's not a massive headline-grabbing move, but when you play a team week one, like the Tennessee Titans that want to run the football, you need some support up front defensive linemen. The injury to Pickens was a concern. The Bears made a smart move here by addressing it. I think it's a great decision here by Ryan Poles and company. Mize, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Bears fans, in the comment section below, now is your last chance to be on the record 100% before the regular season. Give us your prediction for the Bears' 2024 regular season final record, 9-8, and 12-5, 17-0, and 17 whatever it is, give us your prediction for the Bears' 2024 campaign and put it in the comment section below. But Mize, what are your thoughts on this latest news out of the Chicago Bears? Yeah, Nick, this is a really interesting move for the Bears, and I'm excited to see how it goes going forward because Pickens and Roberts are relatively similar players stylistically. Both are stronger pass rushers than they were run defenders. So that fits the, the mold there. Both are relatively the same size. Pickens at 6'4", 300. Sam Roberts at 6'5", 300. So a skosh taller there, but overall very similar. And you look at Pickens' grades last season, a 44 run defense grade, not great. 62.9 pass rush grade. Also decent, but you can tell he's a better pass rusher than he is a run defender. You look at Roberts, 39 on the run defense department, not great. 60 in the pass rush department. It's same, similar, better pass rusher than he is run defender. Now, where am I getting with all this? If you look at what they were able to do in the preseason, you see a lot of growth out of one guy and not a lot out of the other guy. We pull up this graphic. You see Pickens across the board, 50s throughout everything, 57 overall, 58 run defense, 56 pass rush, where Sam Roberts had a pretty good preseason, 79 overall, a 69 run defense grade, and 74.3 pass rushing grade. This is a guy who's made a lot of leaps this preseason. He's looking really good. And both of these guys have played a similar amount of snaps during the preseason as well, around 70 to 80 per player. So I think overall, this is a good signing for the Bears. Roberts, who knows, could potentially turn out to be even better than Pickens will be. But nonetheless, he is a suitable replacement for a guy and Pickens, a young player that was going to get some reps on this defense. Yeah, there's a couple things to unpack with this move. First of all, it's a clear indication, even though it's obvious that the Bears are in basically win now mode. They think they're in a chance. They have a chance here to make a serious run this season, not just to the playoffs, but maybe a deep playoff run. Normally, this time of the year, when when uh, teams make their moves in terms of who they add to the practice squad and things like that, there's really two buckets teams fall into. There's teams adding developmental prospects to the practice squad. Guys, they say, you know, not good enough for a roster spot. Maybe not, you know, good enough for special teams. We're crowded that position, but we want to keep him on the practice squad because we think he has potential. Maybe a year under development, he'll get better. That was like the Bears a couple years ago, right, when they're going through a massive rebuild. What the contending teams do is they add players they expect to have impacts to the practice squad. They'll add veterans, guys who have been around the block, guys who have played a lot of football to the practice squad with the sole idea of elevating them for a key regular season matchup 
early in the season or potentially later in the season. And the signing of Sam Roberts, I think, is a perfect example of that. And here's another thing to unpack here. I love signing former New England Patriots defensive linemen. I think these guys are some of the smartest defensive linemen in the National Football League because that Bill Belichick, Gerard Mayo scheme, whatever you think of it, is incredibly complex. It requires you to be versatile. It requires you to play as a team. You have to put your ego completely aside. It's all about assignment football. People that grow up and learn that system, they go on to be really good quality team players. I look at an outside linebacker, edge guy like Kyle Van Noy, I think is a great example of that. You see a lot of examples. You look at Vince Wolfork, Patriots to Texans way back in the day, right? Good team players, fundamental guys, all about working with the coaching staff and their teammates as part of a group team uh, effort to stop the opposing offense. And I think that's exactly what they're going to get in Roberts. And again, this isn't a guy who's going to come in and have to start and play 60 snaps. You're talking about 15 to 30 snaps against the Tennessee Titans. Can you get some pocket push? Can you know your assignments? Can you line up in a couple of different key areas to allow Matt Aberflus and his defense to execute at a high level? I think bringing a smart, versatile guy like Roberts as he's proven with the Patriots system. And I think you bring up a great point too, that this is the guy on the upswing. This is a chance to be a really good kind of under the radar addition here by Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears.